very warm welcome to BBC News, broadcasting at home and around the globe. My name is Mike Embley. Our top stories. French-led troops take Mali's historic city of Timbuktu without a shot being fired as Islamist rebels retreat. Defying Egypt's curfew, thousands take to the streets of Suez, Port Said and Ismailia in defiance of President Morsi. A royal retirement after 33 years on the throne, Queen Beatrix to the Netherlands makes way for her eldest son. And culture meets consumerism in the eternal city, but is Rome's restoration plan a step too far? Hello to you. French-led forces fighting the Islamist insurgency in Mali are saying they have taken control of the historic desert city of Timbuktu. A military spokesman said troops moved in after seizing the airport without firing a shot. President Hollande told reporters in Paris the force was winning the battle against the rebels. The question, of course, are they melting away simply to begin fighting a guerrilla campaign? Islamists seized northern parts of the country last year, but they've been losing ground since French forces launched an operation earlier this month. Now French and Malian troops have been pushing north in their offensive against the rebels. On Saturday, they seized Gao, the most populous city in northern Mali. On Monday, they entered the fabled Timbuktu with very little resistance. And after Timbuktu, Kidal, near the border with Algeria, is the last rebel stronghold. The BBC's Thomas Fessy is in Timbuktu. He sent this. It was an overnight raid. Lights off, French helicopters opened the way for soldiers to be parachuted in at the northern entrance of the desert city. Paratroopers quickly deployed around the town, while armoured vehicles were positioning on the southern sides, blocking all ways in or out. The airport was quickly secured. French soldiers and a few Malian units moved into town without firing a single shot. The town uh, is now secured. Johnson, well, Lots more on that and all the news anytime on our website and you can reach me and most of the team on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Hello there. It's remarkable how quickly our weather has changed. Just a few days ago, it was snow and ice that were causing disruption. Now, our problems come from wind and rain, both of which will be a big feature of Tuesday's weather. It is much milder, though, because the air is being drawn up from the southwest, being drawn up around the bottom of this developing, deepening area of low pressure, which is steaming its way towards us with these weather fronts which are going to bring a significant amount of rain in places. The weather front's bringing the rain northwards and eastwards through the first part of this morning, getting into a good part of the southeast, the Midlands, Wales and Northern Ireland by the rush hour. Very wet, particularly.